Hello, welcome back to Mrs Hewitt's Spelling at Home, our word study session. I have got a really good word for you today, okay? Really good root morpheme. Um, it's one that appears in lots of words and actually I think it's one that you will remember because um, I say like it, it comes up quite a lot. So the word that we, the, the morpheme that we've got today is this one, rupt, okay? And this is from the Latin uh, rompere, meaning to break um, or to burst. Um, so we are going to look at words that have rupt in. It is a bound morpheme. Why is it a bound morpheme? Because it isn't a word by itself. Well done if you got that. So it has to be attached to things. Rupt in itself is not a word. It needs to be attached to other um, affixes, prefixes and suffixes. So I'm going to show you the morpheme grid. That is your cue to pause the video and get as many word sums written as you can. Okay, are you ready? Okay, you can see we have got a nice lot of prefixes here today, and that's going to be the bit that we talk about the meaning of mainly. Um, and then you've got your verbal ending, so a lot of these are going to make verbs. Um, okay, so you can have a look at them. So, lots of word sums. There are more than this, um, because we've got loads and loads of them, and actually each, pretty much most of these prefixes can go to all of these um, suffixes as well. So, it's going to be quite a long list that you will have. Um, I've just picked out some of the main ones so that I can talk to you about the meanings of the prefixes, really. So, I've got at the top here, abrupt. Okay, so if you talk about something being quite abrupt, it's quite short and sharp, okay? And that is because the ab means kind of off. So basically we're having breaking off. So if you um, have a very abrupt tone um, or you say something very abruptly, you say it, you stop, it's very cut off. Um, so you break away from it very quickly. So the ab there is meaning um, away from, okay? Um, we've got disruptive. So there we've got sort of dis, um, again, meaning kind of off. Um, so disruptive, you are um, being a bit of a disruptive influence really means kind of breaking away from the norm, doesn't it? So um, we've got disruptive there and then we've also got disruptively and we see we keep the E here because we haven't got a suffix starting with a vowel. So disruptively, um, they went down the corridor very disruptively, for example. So um, not conforming to how they should be. Right erupted and eruption so e is shortened from x okay so if um we know that x is a prefix meaning kind of um out um x or x so um break out there and erupted so it's, and an eruption think about a volcano eruption it's that lava breaking out from inside okay so we've got erupted and eruption and remember my favorite rule here about the i o n the shun ending because the T is here, part of rupt, we know that the shun is a T-I-O-N when we put it together, not um, an S or a C, um, definitely not an S-H, but it is an eruption. Okay, uh, corrupt, so car here, that has been assimilated to car from com, meaning with. So we know that we've got com, con and core that all mean with. So corrupt, um, sort of... <laughs> breaking with so if you corrupt somebody you're getting them to kind of bend the rules but you're colluding with them to do that okay so um, breaking with them you're corrupting okay something's corrupted um, means it's broken within um, interrupt so inter there meaning through through the middle um, or inside of so an interruption um, breaks across something doesn't it something's interrupted um, it's broken through the middle. So that is where that interrupt comes. We had that when we did inter as well. So we've got interruption. Um, we've got rupture. Also, I should notice there, interrupt. That's why you get your double R. You've got inter and rupt. So you've got two R's in interruption. Okay. A rupture. Rupture's a noun. Um, you can rupture a muscle, um, a ligament, something like that. It's just basically a break or a tear. Um, so that's the noun of something that's broken. Um, and then at the, back, at the bottom there, I've got bankrupt. Okay, it's a bit of a different one, but bankrupt is when you've got no money. Um, so it's basically like you're broken in the bank, aren't you? Um, so you've, um, you're bankrupt, you've got no money left at all. Okay, and you've been bankrupted, um, your bank account's been broken, there's nothing left there. Okay, so, um, or you've, you've burst, you've burst your accounts, you spent so much. So you've got bankrupt at the bottom. So you can see lots and lots of words, no spelling rules for you to think about in terms of the E's and the, um, you know, when you add your suffixes and stuff, because we haven't got anything there where 
then we haven't got um, our root word doesn't end in an E. We haven't got things attaching um, to things with vowels, so we don't need to really cancel out anything. But lots and lots of words. And the interesting bit really um, is how the we've got all those different prefixes, but they all relate to breaking um, and bursting with that rut bit in the middle. OK, so hopefully you've got lots and lots of them. And they are words I think you probably would be using in your writing quite a lot. Definitely seeing them in your reading, um, but also be really good if you can try and use them in your writing. because they're all sort of words that we would use um, sort of even primary school age children would use those words. So um, pick a couple, pick some sent uh, choose some sentences that you can write, have a go at writing your sentences and then you are finished for the day. So good luck with your sentences. Um, off you go and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.